Huge news, guys! Snappy Wolf! She's back in the news, and guess what? It's not good! <laughs> Has there ever been good Sniper Wolf news? Let's see. Let's Google it. Sniper Wolf news. Ah, oh, crap. This time she's getting flack for not ripping off other people's content or just making terrible content in general because I think that's the big issue. Today we are back on Omegle. I've been watching family friendly Omegle videos and they be doing scavenger hunts on here. Last like, night, Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home. Not for ghosting a dying fan. You shouldn't have even reached out because then I could have just told my daughter we tried. I told her you message and told her that you wanted to say hi. And instead you blew off a dying 10 year old girl for days. It's all good. Wow. Then Sniper Wolf responds to the mom saying, Bruh. This time it's for something that might be even worse somehow. How? 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 What is wrong with you? What's your problem? There's a big crazy story involving Sniper Wolf that you probably haven't heard about. Sure, we get it. You're pretty and stuff. All right. You can be pretty and a good person. Pretty much a piece of shit. Sniper Wolf has not had a very good 365 days past. Many people are uh, going on hard times. It's tough times. The world fucking sucks right now. And for her, relatively speaking, it's probably not that bad. She's getting trashed online a lot. So if, like, if that's the pinnacle of bad, then she's really having a hard time. She's impoverished. She's wow. moly bankrupt. Do a funny moly bankrupt edit or something. Um, this is her most recent addressing of the criticisms that have been levied her way. I will read it in her voice. I have a back up of videos and screenshot. Before she changed the thumbnail to make it look like I copy her, I have poof. She copied my thumbnail. So, the way I speak, the joke I make, period. The way you're trying to manipulate this is fraud. No, that's actually not fraud. Fraud is when you send someone a lot of money to make a candy machine and the contract that they provided that was signed off on by attorneys and lawyers, you do the opposite of that and then you, you misappropriate the funds. That's fraud. Are you aware that Caleb has been scammed? Uh, it's seeming likely. By the way, go to sour.gg. Buy some candy today. We got a really cool flavor coming up really soon. I'm, I'm very excited for it. Sign up for the email list, all right? Go buy the candy. There might be in summon stock. I'm not exactly sure. Go to sour.gg. This video is brought to you by sour.gg. The cotton candy is really good. I love it. And lest we forget the response to the Jack Films allegations, the doxing. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. She said, Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent action. It inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jack Film, YouTube, and the entire cater community. She probably doesn't care, actually, to be honest. So, anyways, what's going on now? That's all old news. All right, guys, that's all old news. Well, some actual old news has come back to haunt her. I feel like I'm covered in termites and they're eating me from the inside out. They're eating my skin like it's delicious wood pulp and they're turning me into a pithy piece of wood. They're slurping my sap wood. In fact, guys, Nerd City, a friend of the channel, an actual friend of the channel. A lot of time I say friend of the channel, it's people I talk shit about. An actual friend of the channel has some new information that has been brought to light from him. Some new details. Come beneath the wigs and the musty scalp into the mind of a malignant narcissist and learn what's real and what's fake in the spiraling tower of projection built by the world's favorite Greasy haired YouTuber. It's really interesting. Go check his video out. I have a link to it down in the description down below. All right, fuckers. I also have a bit of a personal tale that is directly related to all of this, which is really funny. So the new info that was brought to light by Nerd City stems from an event way back in 2018 during the rise of the Fortnite sensation known as Tyler Ninja Blevins. What is this game, dude? <laughs> Are you serious? Give me a green card. What? ARE YOU DOING HOLY SHIT <laughs> oh, oh, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. I don't have a green! <laughs> ah! 
okay, I had foot cancer or something like that. I think he's doing fine. This was a time of his beautiful blue raspberry hair. It was a, a, a Fortnite Pro Tournament. I'm not sure if he was involved in it. It wasn't just any Fortnite Pro Tournament. It was the Celebrity Pro Am. Pro Am? We've assembled some of the best gamers, streamers, and competitive players around, along with some of the biggest names in entertainment. They will join forces as duos and compete for that sweet, sweet victory royale. There were pro players and gamers teamed up with celebrities or whatever internet fucking people amateurs they were the amateurs they were competing for three million dollars to go to a charity of their choice and it was in front of thousands maybe actually hundreds because there wasn't that many people there it was pretty embarrassing and honestly it makes sense because it's fortnite it's a pro-am and all this shit's a giant joke anyways look at all those people this reminds me of metallica live in moscow 1991 oh wait it reminds me nothing of that this is how they set the three mil up. The winner got a million and then 500,000, 250, 180, 70, 60, 50. Basically losers, all right? 11th to 50th place, 120 grand only for charity, which is so cringe and just so like, why even show up if you're not gonna fucking win this shit? Just kidding. It's pretty cool. They didn't exclude anyone. All the creators and celebrities or whatever were allowed to choose their own charities and donate some money, no matter what. Even if they fucking sucked and they didn't play. Pretty cool. The pro players, the celebrities were streamers or YouTubers mostly, you know, like Pokimane, an NBA player named Josh Hart. At the buzzer, Josh Hart banks it in. Yeah! Oh yeah! Me when I saw Pokimane and Josh Hart were involved. Ali A was paired with the guy from Fallout Boy, Pete Wentz. Hey, what's up? I'm Pete from Fallout Boy. Welcome to my crib. Skyart! A YouTube fellow was uh, teamed up with the, the fellow from iCarly, Nathan Crest. That's pretty cool. He looks pretty handsome. This is amazing. <gasps> Someone finally friended you? <laughs> and. By the way, the reason we're talking about it today, Sniper Wolf. She was teamed up with Terrence Ross, an NBA player for Orlando Magic at the time. I have no idea. I don't keep up with Terrence Ross all that much, so I'm not sure if he's even active still. Line up for Team Giannis, and Nikola Vucevic will come off the bench. Woo! Terrence Ross. Somehow, she was not the amateur. Terrence Ross was the amateur. Sniper Wolf, the woman who has other people play video games for her, and then pretends to play video games on her channel for like money and gamer girl clout. She's the pro player that's teamed up with NBA player Terrence. Like this is so fucking confusing. The way that it's laid out, the pro am, it should be an actual pro esports player. This is it. Ali A, of course, is going to win. I don't actually know who won. I don't really care. To give credit to the event holders, though, I, I'll uh, I'll say I don't believe they thought she was necessarily a great player. In the intro of the event, they sort of threw her under the bus, which is pretty awesome, and I love it. They talk about how the talent is abundant. List of talent goes on and on. Ali A, Pokimane, Nick Merckx, Gotaga, CDN the Third. But then they transition to. Also joining us today is Sniper Wolf. Also joining us today, Sniper Wolf. Hey man, guess what? Who cares? Who are these people? 50 gamers? Who cares? Ali A sucks. AIDS. Cringe. <laughs> this is so funny. The chat is so good. Cringe. Ninja's the only one there who's like probably really good. I think Ali A is pretty okay. <gasps> Uh, video games though probably i remember he posted a lot of really awesome dancing videos of fortnite but i'm not sure if that 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 sort of skill carries over into gameplay of fortnite after the intro though they say it's 50 gamers and 50 entertainers 50 gamers 50 entertainers one victory royale which judging by the court documents we saw last year i'm not sure if she's possibly could be considered a gamer all right the concept behind the sniper wolf youtube channel was that young Evan would play games such as Call of Duty and or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and record his gameplay. Young would then prepare a script for each recording for Celeste to read on camera while acting as though she was playing the recorded video game footage. Yeah. I like to ponder in my mind, pontificate a bit, whether or not they would have invited her to the Fortnite Pro-Am had all of this information come out sooner. <laughs> I feel like probably not. Or if she was, hopefully she'd be the an amateur or something and if you're wondering she made it to 29th before getting eliminated which is she made a run at tilted towers pretty solid sniper wolf 
making a move in here, just trying to fly in, find somewhere safe to land. And we're going to have a lot of players doing similar things. The event didn't seem to think she was that interesting either, like us, uh, because of the two hours of footage up until that point of her gliding to Tilted Towers, it's pretty much all you see of her. That's all That's all there is. And the only way we know she was 29th is because we saw her get el eliminated <laughs> with an LMG by Ryan C. She did get a knockout, but failed to secure the elimination. L! L sniper wound! Finally, two hours, 23 minutes into the event, she's on camera for all of us to witness. When the charity game, by the way, these are just warm-ups. When the charity game actually rolls around, she does terrible. She got 34th out of 50, which is bad and i really just want to say that that's embarrassing and she should be very embarrassed still to this day for charity or not embarrassment is a healthy thing being embarrassed feeling humility it's good but once again off-screen death and everyone's watching the backpack kit what shit that is huh and you wonder why the extraterrestrials in space don't come down and introduce themselves to us that's fucking why dude that's why. That's why we're not getting any visitors. Okay? All this is why. <sighs> What's funny, in spite of all this, on Ranker.com, there was a prediction on how teams would fare, and the Terrence Ross and Sniper Wolf team was predicted to place eighth, which is awesome. I don't know. It's maybe just fucking lie on your resume. People think you're a pro gamer. It would be funny, though, if she was, like, sitting on her husband's lap at this time. That would be awesome so anyways that was a bit of an appetizer her terrible embarrassing performance in the tournament which is just a terrible and embarrassing thing overall and i love that about this whole situation the main course of this whole story is during the event a uh, there was a secret kind of thing that happened here when people would find out about it secondhand they would inquire about it and as he would ask them please don't make a video about this probably shouldn't mention it man she did not want the drama. I mean, I don't want to comment on this. But in those, you know, sort of upper social circles, it's been known for years that there is a prominent creator who is has a screw loose in their head. A creator at the event caused a bit of trouble, it seems like. And you know what's funny? I actually knew about this. We'll get into it. I'll show my DMs from 2018. So Sniper Wolf, clearly not the pro gamer she sells herself as or would have the world believe that she is. She did not perform well in the competition and she fucking went off the rails at one point as well. By the way, it is six years ago that this happened and I wasn't physically there, all right? But I do have some, let me make sure I have this still because I haven't checked these. I don't, I just remember this from the time. This is a long time ago. These are DMs from Azzyland, June 13th, 2018. I have so much to tell you when I'm back from LA. She tried to attack me at the party. I said, WTF, lol. She's a nut job. Thankfully, my friends pushed her away. That's insane. Ha ha ha. What a fruitcake, Lamal. Why TF would she do that? I said. She said, it was so out of nowhere, everyone was shocked. She was screaming that I faked my gameplay. <laughs> I'm not even good at games though. WTF, that's like saying I fake my gameplay. Projecting her own insecurities, she majorly embarrassed herself. I said, does she even have any wins in Fortnite she uploaded? If so, I bet she faked it. Ah! Yes, that sounds ultra cringe. Ah! I can't understand successful people being so insecure. I can't? I couldn't? I actually couldn't at the time. I really could. I didn't. I'm so stupid. I was homeschooled and like, at this point in my life, I wanted to it was, uh, it made sense that I, I couldn't understand that. Grass is greener, you know? My channel was very not successful at that point. She doesn't want to share the space with other women. Everyone else is trying to bring each other up, and she's trying to tear others down. This is consistently a thing, by the way. It's crazy, man. It's been six years since this happened. I said, yeah, that's crazy. The famine mentality. There isn't enough for everyone, only enough for me. She said she wants to be the only real hot gamer girl. I said, I want to be the first hot gamer guy and only. She said, I want to see my to succeed. I'm not competitive. Ha 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 ha. I said same for sure. I really wanted to be the first hot gamer guy genuinely like that was a big thing in my mind at the time i was trying to make it playing feed and grow have you guys ever seen the videos of me playing this is me in 2018 by the way please don't look at it please don't show that don't show the cut that out don't stop it stop i failed at being the first hot gamer guy all right i'm gonna turn this music off it's so bad there we go much better i can make my own music in my head <laughs> yeah. finding me mole <laughs> 
I'm really stupid. I'm sorry. All right, so that's a long time ago. That I, that's crazy. So there's my context to add to the situation. I don't, if you were there, let me know exactly what happened down below. But so far, this is all reliant upon Azuland, who actually was there. So Nerd City in his video plays a clip of a sniper wolf saying that she is a bad sport when she loses video games and she might even attack someone, which is insane because it's like she's a rodent. Failing to assault other internet celebrities within the game. She made up for it in real life. It's like she's an animal that cannot control her impulses, which is awesome. I love the honesty, but what the f I never had time to practice or go to events and compete. And not to mention, I am a very bad sport. If I lose, like, I'll go ape shit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. I get really, really competitive. That clip, years and years and years old from back in the COD days, okay, when Evan was still recording her gameplay. But that's not a far cry from reality. Nerd City reports that many people present at the event saw Sniper Wolf get into a f***ing screaming f***ing match with her husband Evan. Her then husband Evan. What many who were there did witness off camera was Sniper Wolf getting involved in altercations. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner Evan. He can't play for her live. <laughs> When I don't get my way, I, I scream, and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last place finish. I like to imagine that she was really mad at him that he couldn't shrink down to the size of that little guy in Men in Black and get inside of her head and control her motor functions or do the Ratatouille thing. I'm sure she said, Evan, why can't you do the Ratatouille thing? Evan. Do the Ratatouille thing. Why can't you do that with the game now, Evan? That wasn't the worst altercation, though, in spite of it being hilarious, you know, with the Ratatouille thing. Azulan recounts her story that she recounted to me the day that it happened, the day after it happened, it began like this. Azzy saw Sniper Wolf with a group of mutual friends, and even though her and Sniper Wolf weren't friendly with each other, she still decided to go up and talk to them, since they'd waved and greeted her. They were like in a circle, and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom, and then when I was walking back, I saw them, and they were like, hey, Azzy! And even though, and then I was like, Sniper Wolf's there, and I'm like, oh, you know what, just, just be nice. They just walk over. During the conversation, Azzyland started telling a self-deprecating story about herself. And during this story, when she's looking at Sniper Wolf, Azzy saw her silent, taking it all in. And clearly angry. And then I go into in there and I got really awkward, so I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh she just like is looking at me, she's silent, and she's like That was when she lunged at her like a beast, like a creature, like that demon from on top of that armoire and the conjuring you know what i'm talking about that up there in the fucking made me scared armoires for a while i tell you what i live in fear because of that movie Fuck! she just like is looking at me she's silent and she's like like angry and then she like lunges at me and i don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying got in between and like pulled her off me and then they took her back into the room and then i was out there and they were like what the fuck was that <laughs> It was just like, it was so, oh yeah, she was like, oh yeah, she was screaming at me. She's like, As he then mentioned names, as she mentioned her friends to me, she didn't, I didn't really ask or care. I just wanted to make a video with her at the time. I think I wanted to make a video about, about Sniper Wolf with her back in those days. Cause that was when I was like starting into commentary kind of reaction stuff. Anyways, the names are bleeped in the Nerd City video. Nerd reached out to them. They wish not to be mentioned. So their names are, you know, obviously respected and censored, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty cool. And by the way, the reason this is only coming out now is because the people who actually did witness it, like I could have made a video about this, I guess, but it, it just seems like, I don't know, I didn't, I could, I have asked, I could have done this, I guess. I don't know, long time ago. Alas, I'm a f***ing idiot. The people who actually witnessed it, who were there, did not make videos about it because they don't want to do drama stuff, which is fine because they don't make the kind of content. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't like it, it's fine. Do whatever you want. It's the people who saw it never made a video about this, probably to like preserve their reputation as drama free and because that's not the kind of content that they normally make. Who told you? Now I need to know. When people would find out about it secondhand, they would inquire about it, and Azzy would ask them, please don't make a video about this. Probably shouldn't mention it. Man. I'm glad Nerd City did this shit because he's incredible. He makes incredible videos. Once again, we'll have a link to his video down below, and just go subscribe to his channel. Production 
it's just not even on the same wavelength as like what I've what anybody I know does. It's just another level. It's another level. It's one of those level things, you know? It's just much better than this. <laughs> For example, the way that Nerd portrays the stark contrast of the actual story, what happened, and how the rest of the evening people had to keep Sniper Wolf away from Azzyland. The rest of the night, everybody made sure like she was on the opposite side of the room as me. She gonna make me commit a crime. Bro, you gonna make me do something violent. These hands are rated E for everyone. I'm gonna pop them right then and there. <laughs> and interjecting all the clips of Sniper Wolf talking about her being violent as if it's some kind of weird you know, cute quirk she has, some kind of strange, endearing behavior. And it's not a concerning, despicable pattern of malevolence. I mean, there was this one bit who talked so much on me online. And then she came up to me, smiled and tried to hug me. I'm like, you call me stupid and ugly, we throw on hands. Bit of a self-report, I guess. Thanks, Sniper Wolf. Oh, y'all. Somehow she got away with this all the way up until now. And I saw Nerd's video. I saw this video when it came out and I was like, dude, I have to cover this. Like, do you mind if I cover this? And he said, of course, you know, you are what I strive to be. I you didn't say that shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm lying. Not even funny joke, unfortunately. But I thought it was very interesting because I quite literally was talking to Azulan at the time of that happening. And she told me like the day, the day, the night, the morning after, which is awesome. It all comes full circle, motherfuckers. Anyways, any time to shoot on the Sniper Wolf is a time that is a good time for me, okay? She's a mirror. All right, she's a fucking copycat. She's always a reflection of someone else and she's willing to do exactly what they do to, she's a skinwalker. She gets into that and then buries the original. She's the greatest copycat of all time, really. Mirroring is an interesting phenomenon with an ever growing oral history. When you search for copycats or narcissists or identity theft, there are so many anecdotes from victims who were thrown for a loop by close encounters of the narcissistic kind. Identity theft. The narcissist will steal your identity and become a twisted version of who you are while smearing them the whole time to everybody else. They probably disrespect you a whole lot behind your back, but then again, they're copying you doing the things that you do. To be fair, that's what a lot of YouTubers are. There's levels of copying to everything, but most, you you know, copying, inspiration, whatever, imitation is the highest form of flattery I've heard some people say, I think. <laughs> people will always just come at me and be like, hey, you copied this, oh, you copied that. The copying comes from the narcissistic feeling of entitlement. Because I want to do it too. They feel entitled to the admiration that someone else is getting. There will be times where I watch a really cool video from somebody and I really like the challenge and then I will copy their challenge. They want to take that good reputation and apply it to themselves, even if it's unwarranted. The difference with Night Wolf is is that it's uh it's malicious the thumbnail argument is the funniest one in my opinion she's so adamant that azilan is copying every single one of her thumbnails and titles to the t but it's just that you can see it you can just see it. it's her, her her evidence is mediocre what is this i have screenshot of you uploading the same video as me minute before i after i upload multiple occasion how would she even know that dude how would she even know that i bet that makes her so mad though too she probably just screams in her house i bet she just yells and she bitches and she loves to hear the sound of her own voice she's one of those people i hate those kind of people dude who just like interrupting i hate it bro you can't get this is such bad evidence though because it's in german 9.4 versus she also got community noted. It's not even in English. It proves absolutely nothing. The community is on our side, aka the side of truth, logic, reasoning, being based in red pilled, and other things that are funny to say ironically. Or fun to say ironically. Funny is sort of subjective. Now, not only is Sniper Wolf claiming that her thumbnails and titles are being stolen, but also the way she speaks in her jokes, calling, she says it's fraud. What are you fucking talking about? This is so mentally unwell this is insane absolutely just what the f are you talking about post the backup instead of fist fighting and talking about fist fighting how about you post it the way you're trying to manipulate this is fub don't you dare call sniper wolf a liar guys she has the proof of it all that's why she hasn't posted it yet and she keeps being made a fool it's funny to me that most of the time she ignores call outs and pretends like 
haters don't exist or whatever and then is just happy with all the money she has but the the times where she has actually addressed it it just is so disingenuine it's just lies it makes no sense her response to jack's film jack's film is like oh my god it, this is where it gets incredibly epic and way worse she pulls the ultimate strategy out of her pocket sue sue lawsuits she loves lawsuits and hearing me i'm not going to have a man i have no idea how to knock he literally moaned and ran on you and now i'm renting him and knocking him i don't think that's how that works to be honest i think that accusing someone of doxing would be defamation if it were untrue but like actually doxing someone and accusing someone of being doxed are very different i think we should let experts you know determine what exactly happened but for now it doesn't look that good and i don't think that would end very well you got an ai to write that you got an ai you recently learned how to read probably all right just because that's the natural order of things people like you you generally learn to read when they're pushing 35 40 all right and that makes how old is she sniper wolf hey, she better not be my age okay thank god she's 31 makes sense she looks good for 31 and by good i mean bad am i right fellas so sniper wolf is objectively a manipulator a liar she's a true copycat that's all very well established most people with their own brains can sort of deduct that from basic evidence provided by us awesome youtubers on the front lines copying shit is a trait of a narcissist and obviously she's a narcissist she just acts like a narcissist and this is all a result of another girl who is similar uploading slightly similar stuff or similar stuff along this there's a bunch of channels that used to do this by the way like these videos they're trends you're not inventing anything new this is all reaction stuff that's stolen from buzzfeed like it's just a it's an industrial complex it's tr the reaction industrial complex for a few years was just you're not stealing anything you haven't created anything original ever in your entire life you have to be funny and entertaining and people will like you. The end. But if you say that other people are stealing the shit you're doing and you're also not funny or entertaining or creative in any way, you're going to end up like this. You're so ugly, girlfriend. Did you just call her ugly? Yeah, so what? You should never call a girl ugly. Well, I just did because she is. She's actually kind of cute, you know. I would rate her 8 out of 10 on the hotness scale. Okay, uh, uh, what now? Are you gonna like dab on me? Perhaps you should button your shirt to prove your point? That's why you should leave this little boy here and come date a real dragon Whoa. like me. Not a copycat. It's not possible. My favorite is the German case of her saying, you post the same video as me minutes after. How the f*** would she do that? You're saying in 10 minutes she made the whole, the same video and just posted it? Is there a mole? Is there someone on the inside? Maybe it's Evan. Blame it on Evan. Let's let's I want to see that fist fight still. A few minutes after Sniper Wolf, and that in Sniper Wolf's mind was proof that Azzy had copied the video from her, which makes no sense. Now the reason that that's terrible proof that Azzy was copying from Sniper Wolf is that you can't make an entire YouTube video in a few minutes. So there's no way she could have copied the theme of the video from her and uploaded instantly like that. And it just doesn't make any sense. Not only a liar, but now you look dumb as hell. Thankfully, you know, the public could figure that out. Not only a liar, but now you look dumb as hell. Oh. And so all this nonsense while she's sitting on a high horse and quite literally stealing someone else's identity, this person being Azzyland. And you guys have probably seen the whole red dress situation where Azzyland did a house tour in 2018, the end of 2018, and then Sniper Wolf did a house tour and it's just the same, like she actually copied her legitimately. Like there's, there's, it was 100% a copy. Pretty awesome. Pure jealousy, pure copycat, pure. It's the same dress. There's no pretending here. There's no, there's no, it's wild. This is one of the very few creators we've actually seen their true intentions just flowing out of them at every turn throughout their career. She's been hated for a long time and really recently, obviously with the whole Jax film stuff. She genuinely feels entitled to the admiration of others. She feels like she's owed stuff that other people have earned. It's unbelievable. It's 
fucking crazy. And at this point, we now realize that she was originally a woman who faked her gameplay. She hated being Matt. She saw something better, which was Azzyland, and decided to change into her. Sniper Wolf is a skinwalker. She changed right down to the accent, uh, or at least similar mannerisms of speaking. When I finally watched uh, some Azzyland content, I was like, there it is. That's the voice. We don't care what you are. We don't care if you're not even the same species. Wait, they got a house? Why are they so angry all the time? This girl does sound like her. She's trying to talk like her. And then she's gonna act surprised like, oh, they thought I was her? But you were inspired by her. And with Sniper Wolf, it was this bizarre affectation that threw me off so much that I made a montage out of it. Like, what the hell is that impression? Jokes. When you promise to only eat one cookie. I'm gonna be good tonight. I'm only gonna eat one Oreo. That's it. This person should be a lawyer. He's like, you said one cookie. The only one, I just one. That's it. I didn't know how much she'd copied from you. Sniper Wolf dedicated herself to becoming the ultimate Azzyland, basically. It seems like that, that is what, uh, that's what that's what happened and in she, she can't hide it now at this point and people especially won't believe your bullshit when you're famous on the internet sorry infamous on the internet for saying shit like this when i don't get my way i scream and when i don't get my way i, I scream and i scream really loud ghosting a 10 year old with cancer sniper wolf is in big trouble she did something absolutely disgusting ghosting a terminally ill 10 year old with cancer and just making fun of people's bodies girl the only medical bills you are paying is for that nose the lips the tits, and the ass no wonder she wants to be somebody else i fucking wouldn't want to be here either holy shit she's genuinely a narcissist and it's not possible at this point to pretend that any other reality could otherwise be true boom oh <laughs> yeah that bitch. Now for clarity, the, the reason we felt like it'd be important to rehash some of the points and topics we've covered already in this Sniper Wolf situation is because of Nerd's video and his job that he has done taking clips of Sni Sniper Wolf doing incredibly manipulative things and comparing them to statements from professionals describing narcissistic behavior. And it is absolutely true. Things like copying someone else they see as having desirable traits as you land. If I take those personality traits and put them into me, I can become a better person, which would make me a better version of them because I'm different from them. That's just how my mind works, y'all. It's, it's just very strange. She like stole her accent and shit too, know, the way she, she talks. talks. The Toronto way Fucking talking, weirdo. Yeah. True weirdo shit. Sniper Wolf even stole the way as he speaks. It's weird, dude. Mm, it's getting a little weird in there. It's getting a little strange. Shopping outfits, work, ideas. Why would she rip this off? Why would she steal this this thing? It's a house tour or the red dress. Who cares? What are the chances, though? Honestly, it seems so intentional. She seems like she's gaslighting her audience into hating Azzyland. Bro, what? They have the same mirror? They both did a house tour in the same outfit? This looks like the same exact dress, dude. Narcissist copy. Blatant copying, such as wearing the same clothes that you might wear, copying your work, copying your ideas. She literally copied the house tour as he did and even wore the same outfit during the house tour and even pointed out the same things in the house tour that as he did. And when I say same things, weird things that you wouldn't normally point out in a house tour. Also trying to be the better version of the person they're copying. Like this really weird example where Aziland is talking about plants in her home, basically saying that, you know, she doesn't really take care of them. They end up being killed and dying. But then Sniper Wolf goes on to say that they're luscious, well taken care of plants. Uh, more plants that I'm killing a luscious well taken care of plant and try to make it better almost like out of spite it's the entitled person doesn't just feel special they have to be more special than you recollecting instances of violence or wrongdoing of another person fondly rather than regretfully so a lack of empathy or emotion so we know this and the whole time as well the fact that Sniper Wolf is the one pulling the Uno reverse card saying as he's ripping her off, that is just next level f***ing disturbing and weird and unnecessary. She referred to her as a fraud as recently as 2023. <laughs> Sorry, fud. As for the claiming fraud thing, that's like a legal liability. Fraud is a crime. I wouldn't be concerned with her saying this about anything she said. She accused Jack of defamation for saying she doxed him 
or some shit. Defamation, also a, a thing that it, you can be held legally liable for. Her and her lawyers are absolute buffoons, and this specifically is covered in uh, the court case with her husband where they treat that like it was a grade school math class. They tried to establish legal precedence that she was being gaslit. Even though we have a burden of proof that she's done this to seemingly everyone she's ever had a negative interaction with ever online and just just she's just done it publicly like you can see anyways guys once again go check out nerd city's video he gave a bunch of uh a bunch more information highlighting all of sniper wolf's narcissistic tendencies he went way beyond what we covered in this video and it's just it's just it's cool she, she truly is a skinwalker trying to be azuland it's embarrassing anyways it's well worth a watch and i'm grateful to nerd for letting me cover his deep dive into the psychology of the worst most rampant narcissist on YouTube. Giant narcissist. Giant narcissist. Giant nar By the way, I'm not a narcissist. All right, I'm a nice guy. I'm a really nice guy. I'm a narcissist.